Okay, Daisy in tens, but with the added winter mod. Daisy in tens just got harder. I've had numerous runs at this, numerous goes at it. I think 45 minutes is the longest I've stayed alive. It is ridiculous. I thought maybe we'll do a playthrough series like we did with the summer, autumn, Freddy run that has been doing quite well actually it seems quite popular people like the hardcore element they maybe they like to see me suffer but if you like to see me suffer carry on watching this and if you do enjoy watching me suffer a like a comment a subscription like comment and subscribe all that good stuff would be much appreciated but with daisy and tens if you've watched any of my other videos or anybody's videos you will know it's difficult enough to stay alive and add, add to that that you're freezing to death. Look at my temperature flashing. Straight off the rip. Freezing to death as soon as you get in. Oh, there's a fire. So either we're going to get a free fire here. And maybe make a friend. Or it'll go out before we can interact. Um, Solnichi spawn. There is a medical in Solnichi. Hello. Hello? Hello? How you doing bro, are you okay? <laughs> Having to lie down. Yeah, 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 come, come on in, get warm bro. Thanks man, I got, a, I got a stick. I got a spare stick. No worries, spare stick. Keep, keep the fire going longer. It's rough out here man. How's it going, you alright? Yeah. Let me get out of your way so you don't get sick. Ah, oh, I'm inevitably gonna get sick, bro, on this server. No worries. Let me, uh... How long you been playing? Um... Daisy and Tens, about a month. This, and then, then this, this only become winter in January, didn't it? So, a few days. Yeah, I was having an... I was doing all right when it was... When it was the normal, like autumn, spring, yeah. This is uh, definitely a bit more intense. Oh, 100%. I've made it, I don't think I've made it very far inland in this winter, but it's just something different. You can only play official and the sort of what I would call easier daisy so many times, so it gets a little bit repetitive, so. Bit yeah. Repetitive, so. I'm also on another one called Janaris has fallen. Oh shit, that's deadly, quite, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that one's quite hard. But to be fair, uh, the zombies on that one aren't as much of a threat. No, not in the in, night time. You're fresh yeah. born, you yeah. get hit by like, a zombie twice, you're fucked. Yeah, exactly. You know what I've noticed this morning? I came off it this morning because my my heat wasn't going up. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting any heat from any fires. I've been sitting by this for about 15 minutes and I'm still on light blue. Yeah, I think something's wrong with it today. I had a fire in Berezino, first life. That was fine. Got the buff. And then the, the next two or three lives after that, I haven't been able to get out of light blue. Yeah, I can't, maybe it's just the clothes we're wearing. Um, oh, shit. Need something a bit more high insulation. <laughs> I might have to just brave going into town then, looking for shit straight away. That's the thing though, the second you go in there, you get fucked up by the zombies, <laughs> it's not really worth the, it. I played yesterday and I spawned here, and the first shed I went in, I found a pristine pitchfork, and then it's game over for the Zeds then, if you know what you're doing with the pitchfork. One tap every time. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably push over slowly and... You know that first row. Oh no, oh, no shit! I was in Kami. I thought I was in uh, Kami Shovo. This is Solnichi, isn't it? So, yeah. I'm gonna, have you have you gone, gone any further in town? Or, have you checked the medical or anything like that? No, I literally just got up to like that in, that little industrial building over there. What? I had to kill a couple of zombies. And they sort of fucked me up. Yeah, I'm fair just trying to get some health back. I'm gonna probably head. Um, you know, behind that big mill building is the, like, mill barracks. Building. Yeah, yeah. Go and check them out. May try and make my way to a few of the houses by there. Try and find some clothes and, uh... 
You Lord Spaddington. I, I'm, I love the way you can check the names on this. I might just, I might just try to get a better score point, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like half yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I got you, man. I want my stuff. No, 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 I'm not into all that. If, um... Well, I'm going to leave it anyway, bro, because I'm going to, like I said, I'm about, I'm like half health, and I'm going to sure? struggle to get back, so I might as well right. just get a different score. Take the disinfectant and, and uh... Good luck though, bro, yeah? Take the ammo, yeah, you too, see you around, bro. See you later. There you go, he was friendly, but yeah, I was having this problem this morning. Not able to get anything from the fires. And he, he said, oh, is it because of the clothes we're wearing? No, that doesn't matter. If you're, if you're naked and you're sat in front of a fire with, with all the doors closed, you'll still get the buff. So I don't know whether they're having a shitty day on the server, whether something's just not quite right, but what can we do? You know, you've got to play the, the hand that's dealt you. But, you know, it is impossible to play this if you if you can't get the heat buff, because at least it gives you 15, 20 minutes to move around. Um, you know, try and get some looting done. Oh. I have to fight this one. I hope it doesn't bring any friends over. Get a few in while you can. Oh no. Now we're in trouble. This one down. Wow. Okay. Welcome to Winter Daisy and Tens. We get in front of a fire. Doesn't work. Like literally doesn't work. So now by respawning, all our stats have taken a, a hit. So we've gone back one. And I just realized I didn't activate any of my perks either. So my strength perks and things like that. I could have had them going in my favor for that first fight. My stealth creeping around the Zed. So that's a huge error on my part. Schoolboy. Schoolboy stuff. So we'll try again. But if I took another silly death like that early doors, I think the trick with this is you've just got to keep reinventing characters. Go in with the initial allocation of skill points that you choose. And and just keep going and going and going and going. And then maybe life number seven, eight, nine, ten, you finally get a good start. You finally manage to to go fishing or whatever. <clears throat> Berezino, I was here earlier. And I was able to get the buff um, in that far house over there. So, we'll see. Obviously, if it's unplayable, as in the fire system isn't working, what, what can you do? You can't play this game if you can't get the buff. This this server, anyway, sorry. This server. I'll do what I did earlier when I spawned in Berezino, and that was tuck myself in the shed. Influenza perk. Recovery of hematomas. And recover people easy, I don't care about that. Stab wound surgery. Better breathing, stamina recovery, sorry. Swim, I don't care about that, I'm not going to do any swimming. Uh, strength. 
takes less. You can jump over walls and shit with less stamina. These are the important ones. Silent steps. Less shivering. Dexterous fingers. Fitting of equipment is quieter. <laughs> Zeds. Think you're one of them. Lighting a fire is easier. You're more resistant to the cold. You won't get hand cuts as easy. And you can cut up more meat. So essential. What I didn't do last life. I've just done now. Essential that you do that. Activate your perks ASAP. In a safe area, of course. We get a police jacket. So now we've actually got some space. Inventory space. Oh my god. A stab vest. Straight off the rip. Okay. Obviously, I would imagine. Yeah, you get insulation from the stab vest as well. Because you're doubling up on your body, aren't you? I'm trying to look for... Ah, okay. I was going to say I'm trying to look for some twigs or something. Here we go over here. But I actually got killed by another player in Berezino this morning. Off camera because I didn't want to... I didn't want to... <laughs> film or release anything. You, you know, people might not even see this if, if the fire thing is still not working. It's pointless. Pointless start in the series until the series can be done correctly. And you can see the, get the game, the server rather, how it's meant to be played, and that's by getting fires and shit, you know? I might have to do a fire in here. Because that's pretty big on this server. because I don't want to go near that zombie over there until I've got the heat buff, because the longer you're fighting in the street with zombies, particularly when you haven't got a melee like I haven't, you just, you're more open to the cold. The longer you're going around without the heat buff, you're more likely to get a cold, which then develops into flu, which develops into pneumonia, and you die. So I'm trying this tactic. Oh, look at that. Got my fire going straight off the rip. Trying to develop this tactic of getting a buff and then going into town. Like, I would go to the fire department next, try and get some firefighter clothing. See, it's gone up to light blue. Let's see what happens. I'm glad that guy said he was sat in front of the fire for ages as well, what not warming up. There we go, white. So it's working in Berezino. Why is it, why is it only certain fires in certain towns? Are working for God's sake, but we've got to cover up these extremities fast. And we could do with finding a uh, a melee weapon, um, which you know you can do in the fire fire department. You can find a firefighter axe, which is one of the better ones. Pristine as well. Okay, at least it looks like the buff is working in this one. And we can go out there, knowing we've got a little bit of time. Oh shit. We missed that. Huge. Before we fight any zombies, cut up any players, cut up a chicken, do anything like that, search any zombie bodies can make, uh, that's not a bad melee weapon either, the screwdriver, believe it or not. Two power hits can put some Zeds down, and maybe two power hits and a single hit for the ones that don't go down, so it's actually pretty big. We, we haven't got to go check in the industrial shacks now, we can go straight for the fire department, safest possible route that we can, and then just behind that, of course, is the medical, with food being a huge issue that we will need to rectify. I just see a player running behind the wall. Right. Let's test out our screwdriver. Oh my god. Missed with my first hit. Look at that. 
Oh, I wish you would just search the body, bro. There we go. Yeah, there was a player. Geared as well. Firefighter gear that I need as well. If only I had something with a bullet. Anything. Our sanity can in, can take one uh, murder. You know, we're not going to go too crazy if we murder one person. Hackies that don't want to know, but look at what's happened. We've seen two people now, one of them kitted out, well, both of them kitted out. Look how people don't want, they don't want anything. They don't want anything to do with PvP a lot of the time on this. Because they know if they get cut up, even just shanked up a little bit, it's game over for them. Nice of these guys to, I suppose, kill the Zeds, but... Oh, there we go, fishing hook. So we're only rope away from being able to feed ourselves. Flashlight's no good to me. I want my hands free. Oh, shit. Capacity. Better insulation. This is why we came here. condition. Don't have to use my sewing kit on it at all. in case she's got bones or rope. Well, not so much bones. Rope or guts would be nice. Nope. Can hear me clopping about my shoes. There's one of the dudes that we've seen with the black firefighter jackets have picked that up. That's badly damaged as, as well, so we might as well just keep the one on we've got. And we need to get to the medical without getting fucked up by zombies. That's the plan. for me, sweetheart. Any food, anything? Matches? No. Nope. Of course not.
real out in the open. I'm going to keep an eye on the window that I got shot from earlier. I only got hit by a 22 or something small caliber, but it, it obviously fucked me. Because we're playing Daisy and Tens. If we can find a dead body, we can cut it up with this uh, screwdriver. one in it so they might have medical supplies on them of course not propaninid I'm only only interested at the minute stuff that will cure flu cold Him. God, taking ages for the search thing to kick in for some reason. Look light blue already. Wow. Full bandage. Pretty huge find there. good oh oxacillin is good that's sepsis not, tougher, not sure oh that's sepsis obviously the, the bottle sepsis we would need a syringe anyway oh a meme pen rings a bell it's been quite handy but again only if we find a if we get sepsis once we can oops we can cure it immediately by stabbing ourselves i got shot there earlier i'll show you where i died off camera if this does this does make it into a sort of introduction to this palaver Christmas lights. A lot of the time you get medical loot there. See, the thing is now I can't start a fire until I find matches, a lighter, something of that description. That could well be me. Oh, Tetra, that's huge. If we get a cold, we can cure it now. Uh, that regens your blood. Don't know what that is. Oh shit, the disinfected gloves. Wow, that's huge. Less chance of getting uh, sepsis now, having disinfected hands. Oh, aggro on someone else. This side because this is where the medicines is uh, spawning. Oh, come on, Tetra, huge, huge. If we could find rope now, someone's aggroing all his heads. Yeah, 
this guy's getting on. I'm going mad on the roof of the school as well. Oh. It's huge. <laughs> Up, boys. What's cracking? Hey. How's it going, bro? Did you kill me? Nah, you kill yourself, bro. I'm, Please. You know, you know how this game works with the mentality. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, come on, bro. Just jump off the school, you twat. I'm, I'm a piece of shit. It won't affect your mental health that much, I promise. You, you probably are. I can tell your English for starters. I tried. Wow, you're just a fucking barrel of sunshine, aren't you? There's plenty of ways to kill yourself, son. Get inventive. I was just trying to, you know, do a bit of community outreach. Well, I was, well, I was saying that. I could use your guts to go fishing. I mean, you could. You might, I might as well just follow you until I die. I'm on red flags and health anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. I'll have your guts later then. Where are we going anyway? It's just for a walk around Berezina, mate. Oh, here's a ladder. Maybe that'll work. Well, the school would have been better, being as it's like uh, three times taller, but. Watch me do a backflip. Uh huh. It didn't work. What was your, your usual server full or something? Was I'm it? Too strong for this world, you see. Okay. Disinfected gloves, so we sh we shouldn't get sepsis off this water. Shouldn't even drinking with the hands because we're drinking with the disinfected surgical gloves. God, you get some buttes on this game, man, don't you? Look at this clown. But he's he's got a point in a way. I mean, I I had a point when I say I could use him for fishing. Got one in the chamber, I guess.
first cold immediately. Is that a police one or what? No, it's not. Civilian. Matches. Do is get a fire. <laughs> oh shit. Nothing here. I don't know why I'm looking in here. Get a fire. Defrost this unknown. <laughs> and that'll give me enough st sustenance then to go fishing. And get away <gasps> from town then. Do you know what I mean? look to come back and murder someone once we've got a bit of sustenance in us from fishing anyone has the same idea if they spot us if they follow us oh I'm, I'm talking about fishing as well I haven't got rope yet <laughs> but maybe we get lucky and find rope or a fishing rod or more food up Kelm we can always come back down if we have to murder someone we have to murder someone we've got a shot in the uh, in the IJ that can do just that You know, this house here is a bit low-key. We can defrost, get the buff again, defrost the can of unknown. We've got the ability to un uh, to open the unknown as well. <laughs> and also, I can just prove to everybody how you can 100% of the time eat a can of unknown and not be sick, not get sick. He sounded like a right roof at that dude, though, didn't he? Jesus. Come on, man. No. Firewood. We will have to use the knife once, though. Unless we want to use one of our rags. Yeah, I can do that, because... I've got... That extra full bandage that I found on the Z. So if we do that. We do that. Let's use this because it takes off space in our inventory. We've still got the matches. Failed to start the fire. Good thing is, on here it's not like the mulch. The food is really quick to defrost. And you haven't got to wait for it to cool either. Oh my god. I've activated the perk and yet I'm still failing and failing. There we go. Oh no, I didn't bring the can with me. <laughs> Oh my god, I am an absolute idiot. I literally don't believe this. This might that might be the end of this character, that mistake. I mean, the 
risking going down here as well, again, to the well. Potentially dying. I mean, someone was pro has probably picked up that unknown by now. So then we'll have to see if Laughing Boy has died, which he probably has. And we can at least get his guts for fishing. Doesn't matter about the fire. The flare will still go. We've got the matches. We've got more rags. I haven't even got time to loot this guy. I just need to make a beeline for the well and hope nobody has picked up that can of unknown. Ah, oh, there's a player. Heading for the well as well. Let's see what they're saying. Is it still there? Yes. Hello. Hello. Do you mind if I take a try, bro? Yeah, take what you want, bro. It's all you. take the kind of unknown another Z has spawned like shouldn't be sprinting when my food and water are this low but can't see anyone following me we get back to our fire we can always add more firewood we can always reignite it it's not an issue let's try and get in behind these trees so no one can see us once i got this unknown popping and we can also use this as a little side lesson <gasps> maybe eventually we'll get to the fire and we'll get to defrost this bloody can of food gee wizards and i think it will give us enough enough sustenance to be able to get up to Kelm and have a little fishy around Kelm, as in a little look around Kelm. I don't know of any water spots other than... up by the... Um... Oh, okay. Only up by the summer camp where there's an actual, like, pond. This is going to use... A little bit of put a little bit of damage, a little bit of strain on our gloves, but I'd rather it. I'd rather save our knife for when we eventually go, or hopefully go fishing. Does that mean anything? Yeah, it does. I thought it did. Night vision. Now then. Now then. Now then. Let us all learn how to eat unknown food and never, ever, ever throw up on it. Oh, does that only apply, he says. Does that only apply to official? I got a feeling I might still get a stomach upset here. Level one stomach irritation. See there, the level one stomach irritation, but my bars, if you like, are still going up. Awesome. And as, as long as that doesn't become level two stomach ache, level one uh, stomach ache and vomiting 
just looking at the Discord now. And it says... I'm thinking of making more hungry because it's best to treat stomach ache as quick as you can. Right, so maybe it's not worth fucking with that. Oh god, this is a shame, isn't it? I could have easily killed someone, killed that guy, cut him up for his guts. We've already got a worn fishing hook. if it's worth because if I get sick up in Kelm I'm not going to find stomach medication there's no no way I'm going to find stomach ache medication in Kelm it's only on official or any other server other than in tens you can eat unknown I eat a third of the can then I wait for my arrows to go down I eat the another third of the can then I wait for the arrows to go down and then I eat the rest of the can so I never have an issue Right, someone's got a fire in there. Let's see if they've got the ability to fish or anything like that. Or maybe, maybe we have to murder someone for their guts, basically. For the, for us to have the ability to craft the fishing, uh, a fishing pole. Head for the coast. There's a little spot in the industrial that I know, just near the industrial, that... Uh, Let's ask this person if they've got any, uh... <laughs> any rope. Got the fuck all in there. <laughs> Hello? Joking. Why can't I do why can't I do that? Why can't I skin a fucking quarter the motherfucker? Out of the dickhead die on the ladder, yeah? Yeah, he did, but he's literally on the ladder still. Motherfuckers. 
so they've made it that you can't do that anymore. So you can't murder someone to fish. But these ones will give you enough guts to make a rope. Do you know what I mean? So, I get it. It stops people murdering people just for the ability to fish, but I can think of worse reasons for murdering someone, just for the fun of it, or, or the like, you know? We've got to head up to Upper Berezino. I mean, in Middle Berezino, there's another well. These are not disinfected anymore, but we have... Oh, I threw the alcohol. Oh, this is going to pieces. This is... This life is going to pieces. From doing okay... To struggling appallingly. He ain't gonna have a rope on him. Now we've got a delivery, IRL. Don't you just love that? Let me uh, hide behind you and pause the recording. Unbelievable. IRL delivery. <coughs> that step away. Oh. There's some replacement alcohol, though. That's something. We can disinfect our hands if we want to drink at the middle well. case I can get that soften or actual rope I'm looking ahead for fires because would I murder someone now on the premise that they might have food on them fuck's sake fireman Sam <laughs> rushing me yeah, fuck, son. Gotta search him. I, I don't know what the loot economy is like on this, but with the normal Z uh, fireman. Better condition helmet. Take all the wins that we can at the minute. I mean... People have been through you. Yeah. There's no. There's, I'm not going to find anything. I might as well just head for Middle Berezino. If I see someone with a fire, maybe a potential murder, I've got a shot in the IJ. I have, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> just making sure I wasn't reading that wrong. That's pristine. It doesn't look so fucking ridiculous as a fireman's helmet either. This is where we're gonna find fires though. Up here. In the in the middle ground as well. But as soon as we hit red water or food, we're gonna be walking like we're red health. So that's the issue, as we know, from, from many normal day I say normal day daisy and tens when it's summer or spring or autumn, but when the winter because you've got to stop for the fires. That's eating into your looting time. When you could have been looting up a lot more houses. In that initial 45 minutes of your life. A lot more sheds. And maybe you find rope quicker. Maybe you find an actual fishing rod. But you're dicking about so much with fires. I think we're at the stage where we've got to go and drink from this well over here. But I'm at the stage now where I'm scanning for fires as well. Because I would, I would 100% go in, small talk, execute someone now. Just on the hope they've got some dry food on them. Or just, just basically anything better than what we've got now. A fishing rod. There's plenty of places to fish as we come up here. There's water by here. Isn't there? 
Yep, yep. So if we found rope by you now. Oh, shit. Look how many Zeds there are around the well, man. Affected my hands. I put my gloves back on over the top of my hands. And I'm just hoping I can sip. So I basically get the full stomach symbol. And then we are desperate to find food. We've already got a belly ache off the one bit of unknown we yet. I don't think that's developing into anything more serious. I it may do, though, if I don't treat it. That's why I need to head to the upper hospital and try and find some stomach medication. the rope we need, the guts. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I can't cut up a peacoat, so I wouldn't believe your luck. Here we go. All that water I just drunk comes back up. Clothing we need. Clothing that we can get. Oh my god. Look at that. Again, that you can't cut up like the, the quilted jackets there. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Unbelievable, Jeff. The stuff that we can't cut up, I'm pretty sure, anyway. Yeah. Uh -huh. Six rags right there. I haven't even got to touch my other ones.
give me a stick, bro. I need a stick. None of these big trees. Oh, you motherfucker. Why is it all the way over there? a firewood one. There you go. <laughs> okay, so unknown food. <laughs> is a big no-no on this server. <laughs> The hunger wouldn't have been an issue. It's throwing up. Like, we could have struggled back over there, made a fire, eaten the fish, <laughs> recovered. But the fact we can't eat the fish without throwing up, we can eat it in small bites, I believe. Is an issue, though. Give it a go, because we can nibble on the fish, um, nibble, sip on the water, and just struggle our way up to the hospital and just hope we find something that cures stomach ailments. But it's not looking good for this guy. It's not looking good. But we've tried. I mean, if you think, if we hadn't eaten the can of unknown, we'd survive this starvation. As long as we caught a fish now in the next sort of minute. Yep, is this it? Is this the fish we need? We've even got a cooking pot to drink out of now. Yeah, it is. We've got matches. You know, we've got a decent melee. We've got some stuff. We've got a gun with a bullet in it, which is always handy, particularly on this server. take long at all to cook these two bits of fish and it's the sickness bug that's our issue
flashing red hunger now. Got a cold again, but we've got Tetra for that. Failed to start it with the first one. Got six more attempts before we run out of matches and then it really is game over. Okay, got that one. Still got five matches <laughs> left. Take a Tetra. Cut up the fish. Oh, did it work? Oh no, it failed again. Fuck's sake. Five left. That failed. Four left. Killed the cold instantly. Got that one, have we? No. Three more attempts. God, two matches. Two matches left. Look at the stuff we got, you know, we can make bone knives, hooks out of that. We still need better pants, obviously. Stay on my boy. Got, in, got me back into the yellow of food, though. Something. Itty bitty bites. As we head to the hospital, Rodney.
This buff should get us up the top of the hill as well. Oh. When we get there, we have to find food poison and stomach ache medication. So carbon, carbobac, sarasol, <coughs> entrifural. Polysorb, salafalc, mesalazine, mesenforte, or heptrol, an ampule, keterol, but they're only injectable, I believe, the level 2 stuff. So we don't want it to get to level 2, otherwise we're going to have to find one of four medications, according to the Discord, that will get rid of it. Um, that's a little bit specific for me. Pretty amazing, we got stuff for cold, stuff for flu, stuff for sepsis. We get stomach ache by forgetting that they don't treat cans of unknown like they do on this server. On other servers, every other server that I play, you can eat cans of unknown as long as you don't scoff it all in one hit. It's very, very safe to do so. this first episode cliffhanger will we find the right medication or will we be starting over as a new character in episode 2 One new character yeah probably would be a new character actually because this fella died a couple of times didn't he old uh, Joseph Blizzard oh, wow how tough is this server man I actually love it like super sadistic. Super. S oh, here he goes. Drops into red hunger by throwing up all that fish. What a waste. Took me ages to catch up. Might as well eat the rest of this one. Will it get me back up into yellow? So I can at least move more freely and stop losing health. I should do, shouldn't I? I've got another one up my sleeve anyway, if I have to. Come on, bro. Any obvious fires? People that might have the medication we need if we don't... If we, oh, there's a fire, there's a fire. all that's useless unless I find a syringe like useless compass but really If 
Fucking hell. Junkie's been through here. Oh man, someone's got all the fucking meds. Hello? Shit. That was close, man. the shooter man Hello? Got any stomach meds, bro? Any stomach meds, bro? Hello? Yeah. yeah. I'm down. Where? Downstairs. downstairs. Yes, downstairs. Yeah, have you I found have, have you found anything? Yeah. Any medicine? No, I, I have some medicine but I need a uh, syringe. Ah, oh, shit, yeah, 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 me too. <coughs> do, do you happen to have some food? Yeah, where are you on the ground floor? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, Come here, I have, I have no weapons and... Yeah, 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 well, y you don't want to get shot on this server. Have you been shot on this server before? Yes, <laughs> yeah. quite a lot of even even a 22 will make you walk like red health. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm coming out. How are you doing? I'll share this. Yes. Do you want to come inside? Because someone was shooting just now. Someone was shooting over that direction. So, uh, I can share this with you. Uh, I'll eat half, you eat half, okay? 
Oh, thank you. So That's okay. My stomach I upset has just gone away, so... I have some medicine for pain here if you want to take some. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good. What about cold? Have you got anything like cold or bullet to the head or... Give me my fucking fish back. So quick though. Damn it. Oh shit. I have no weapon. I'm sure he said I I have no weapon. is full as well. A stomach upset just fixed itself, which is handy. Because we've got a gun, we've got some stuff. We we leave. We leave. Do we get a fire and then leave? Let's get into this building over here. I'm gonna have to kill this said. Careful, man. There's a guy shooting over by the military tent over there. So there's a there's a dead body in the hospital. No. There's some stuff on him. He's got some stuff, not much. But um, I was looking for medication. Do you need anything? Are you looking for anything in particular? No. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Gotta watch those bruises, man. You haven't got any food, have you? Any cans or anything? Hello? No, no, no. Are you just rude or...? Shit, he could have been playing with that guy because they got the similar accents. <coughs> we gotta go, man, we gotta go. Think, 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 think. Right, this way. Right, long loop around these houses. I mean, we should get a fire, really. But it's a l it's very close to the murder scene. Um, so i got to be honest. Part of me wants to think. Think a little bit. Do I get a fire? Get the buff. Go down to the stream. Fish until we physically cannot fish anymore. And then... Oh shit, I haven't even checked this guy's backpack. I just took the backpack off him. And I didn't even check it. Idiot. Right. Let's see if this is clear. Yeah. Damaged. Oh, 
Oh my word. Oh my word. All the meds. <laughs> my sewing kit. Just collected all the meds, then, is it? It's got a bit of room there. Oh, oh, fishing rod. Pristine. Oh no. <sighs> Fucking fucker wouldn't have any food on him, would he? I got all the medicine in the world. God knows what it does, half of it. All the medicine in the world. Not a fucking <laughs> bite of food. <laughs> Not a bite of food. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Get the shit out of me then, you dumbass fucking zombie. So the plan, if I don't die in the next 20 seconds, and hear aggro on someone else. Sure I saw some movement down the hospital there. The plan of action now, see, would be get a fire, get a buff, go fishing, we may drop into the red on the way to the stream, which is down there. But we've still got a chance then of making this character work. As in survive for more than two minutes. <laughs> he actually hasn't done too badly, this fella. But I need to go through the meds. Oh my god. Evaluate the sitch. But when you look at... We actually got boots off the guy. Uh, what else? Let's, let's quickly... End of part one. Justify the murder. It's another sewing kit. We got room for that now. So in our cooking pot, we got that off him. The 380. We got this 22 off him. Okay, we got the scorpion worn, all right, with a damaged fucking damaged mag. So I'm gonna put it on semi-auto. We got a pristine baseball bat off him. We got the rucksack, which is only worn. We got the worn boots, and in the rucksack, the badly damaged cooking pot. Do we carry two cooking pots? Uh, oh my god, that's for food poisoning that stuff as well. He had the food poisoning stuff on him. So if if we could have found... Well, I'm sure he said he hasn't got anything unless I've only got stuff that I need a <laughs> syringe for. Badly damaged hatchet. Ice in there. Shit, I haven't got the stomach upset anymore, so I can drink. So at least our water won't go anywhere near the red. Our mentality hasn't gone into the yellow. The reason I didn't kill that second guy is because he didn't look like he had a lot on him anyway. And if I did, I would have gone into the yellow and started laughing like a cannibal. So, yeah, didn't want that. But anyway, let's see if we can keep Joe going. For a bit longer than we've been doing normally in the winter see what he gets up to in part two thanks for watching like subscribe comment all the good shit